University. Now moving on, the Inspector General of Government, Justice Irene Muliagonja, this afternoon is set to launch the Pocket Friendly Version Act of 2002, aimed at raising awareness and popularize the tiles and responsibilities of citizens in identifying and reporting corruption at all levels. Now according to Christine Christine, uh, the, public, the program officer at the Uganda Date Network, says that the printed in pocket friendly versions are also aimed at quickening the mobility and dissemination of laws aimed at fighting corruption in the country. Now, of course, uh, we are now joined by Christine uh, Bilinjiro, the program officer. We want to understand from your perspective what is about this Inspectorate of Government pocket friendly version. Tell us more about it. decided to partner with the Inspectorate of Government to produce these pocket-friendly versions of the IG Act. And this is uh, specifically parts three, four, parts three, five, and six. I think it's relevant for our constituents who are the ordinary citizens. Uh, do you think that uh, citizens having these pocket-friendly versions will help in fighting corruption, and to what extent? Yes, uh, we believe uh, that uh, there are some citizens out there, especially in the communities where we work, who do not know the procedures or where to report, or even have these laws. Some, uh, they do not have access to some of these laws. So we, we are going to have these laws shared with these various constituents, especially the ordinary citizens, to guide them on the processes when they have identified some corruption incidences, how then are they going to, to report this to the IG? So it is all going to be within this act. It's just a pocket-friendly uh, version of the act itself. So we are basically extending these laws to the citizens who would otherwise not have access to this law. In, how do I access this pocket friendly size? Is it available at a cost or it's going to be free? Oh no, because uh, this is going to be free because we know most of uh, these uh, ordinary citizens cannot afford most of them and yet they interface corruption on a daily basis. So I want to make it easier for the citizen to be able to report corruption. And my last question to you, Kristen. Um, you hope to achieve this in what sort of period? Have you set a time frame? Well, it is continuous. For now, we believe uh, we will have results from now when we begin, uh, when we launch. Of course, we distribute these uh, versions to all citizens. First of all, beginning with uh, the debaters who are in parliament today, the different ministries and agencies of government, but also, as we go out to do our work, maybe we go to the field, we interface with communities. At every opportunity, we'll always distribute this. So we have started now, but it will be an ongoing process, even next year and the other years. Thanks so much, Chris.